Hey, hey, Spring Love Bay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is going to be a reading for you. We're going to start with these and just see what we get. I have pre shuffled. listening someone's listening or are you listening obedience fragment okay I feel like this is about you really listening to yourself and um, being obedient about things in the past you may have not have been able to you know see clearly that made you feel like you um, had a sense of denial. You know, if, with Fragment being here, I feel like it's about putting your life back together, putting the pieces back together, really feel, figuring out you and figuring out with obedience being here, I feel like this is being obedient to yourself and your path and really looking back and listening to that inner feeling, listening to that inner guide, listening to, you know, anything that helps you grow, I feel like. Because we have denial here. And I feel like you see how he's wanting to grab that beautiful, beautiful fruit, uh, the grapes. But it's like he's being denied. It's like they're just too far up. Well, I feel like this is about you really looking at what you may not be able to see with the naked eye. You know, why Why are you being denied? You know, um, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, rejection is God's protection. But it's also a sense of um, really figuring yourself out. Really seeing, you know... Well, what is it that you are reaching for, you know? Is it um, healthy for you? And I feel like what this is, is, you know, at, once you come to that sense of, if you look, there, they have the same moon, the same moon on the hand, same moon on the head of the cat. It feels like it's a sense of release, a sense of asking for, you know, really... Um, Releasing with the full moon and manifesting, uh, I feel like, with the new moon. Um, because I feel like that's what you're doing. But I feel like there's a sense of um, being in a moment of having to look at why something's being denied. Why is it not for you? And, and keeping yourself obedient. You see, her eyes are covered. She can't see because her eyes are covered. This is about looking from within. It's that type of feeling. You know, listening from within. Not losing hope. Not losing, um, yeah, a sense of hope in what, what she wants. If you'll look up here, and the reason I say she, it could be male or female. It's the energy. But we have a female here and a female here, but... We have a male's hand here. That has nothing to do with it. You know, this is about really keeping hope in what you want, not giving up on what you want, just because you feel like something is being denied to you. Um, you know, choices really have a lot to do with everything. They have a play for everything. Uh, the choices that you have made, as well as the choices you will make. You know, um, you make the right choices. And the angels will be right there with you. They will be um, guiding you on. Let's see. Okay. Listening. Listening. Knight of Needles. So, listening to truth that has a sting to it. You know, if you think of a needle, when a needle punctures you, it stings. It burns, you know. Um, 
I feel like this, whoever this is, they have something to tell you, but it's going to sting. It's going, there's going to be a burn with it, but you're listening. You'll be listening. Could be the other way around. So, yeah, that could be you going to give a message. Page of Potions. Yeah, this this is about a message that's really going to have you listening because it's it's got a feel to it. It's like something you want to hear but you don't want to hear. I mean, it, it's like you want to know, but when you hear whatever it is, it's like you're listening, but there's something about it that makes you want to think about, well, I need to be obedient. I need to do what's right for me. And then you lead into denial, feeling denied. So something um, may not be the way you want it to be, but there's a reason. Okay. Obedience. Yeah. Ten of candles, or no, not ten of candles. Why am I seeing that? Oh my goodness. Six of candles, but it's reversed. Things are different than they were before. Yeah. King of Presents. Queen of Potions. You know, I feel like this is about you not being the same person. It's about you really finding yourself. It's about you learning, you know, if you think about potions, if you think about putting something together, you know, making something, um, you know, you can make your words to be beautiful. You can make your words to hurt. You see what I'm saying? This is like, um, I feel like that you want to offer someone something or you want to offer yourself something with that king of presents because I feel like this is you. The queen of potions, I feel like that is you trying to basically keep yourself the way that you feel like you should be obedient to your path. You're not wanting to stray from your path, it feels like. Okay, fragment. Whoa, mercy. It feels like that, um, be honest with you it's almost like you're looking back you're feeling like things have ended things have taken away things have you know it's, it's looking back looking back at the past but with this one it's like a feeling of um putting it into perspective seeing that you know it, it you can build from there you can um still have fun you can do for you you can do whatever you need to do Denial. See, it's like what you want. You got all this around you. You've got all this around you now. I'm seeing the Seven of Cups. You've got lots of options. But what you want's in the big bag. You see what I'm saying? If you look at this denial card, you see the hand is reaching for the, the beautiful grapes. It's reaching for those grapes that are, you know, they're just too far up. Look at them. They've got all these presents on the ground, but they're reaching for that. They're reaching. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Denial. This is reversed. The chariot is like um, standing still, holding yourself still because you want what you want and, you know, you, you're not seeing what's in front of you. Yeah. 
Yeah, the moon. See, you're not seeing what's right clearly in front of you. Ace of Potions. See, it's right in front of you. You've got a new beginning right in front of you, but you're not seeing it. So we've got the moon twice. Okay, the moon... Okay, this is healing. Okay, you're doing healing. This is, um, it hurts. It's painful. But it's healing. You're having a moment of healing. That's awesome. So this is really, um, it feels like doing some shadow work. It's, it feels like looking back. Um, yeah. So we've got the emperor here. You may be dealing with someone. Um, who is, um, hurting. This is someone that's taking on the emperor energy. They're very uh, old-fashioned, but they, they're in pain. Hope. The hermit is reversed. Healing needed. Queen of Candles and the Empress. Candles, Empress. It's like, um, so we have hope. The hermit is reversed. Someone wants to heal something. They want to um, make something right. But someone uh, at this moment does not have the strength to deal with this. They don't have the strength to deal with it, whatever this is. This is either you or someone you're dealing with doesn't have the strength um, at the moment. Because strength is reversed. It's like this person may have shut down to a point. Yeah, lovers reversed and um, not of potions reversed. So whoever this is, they're not giving to a situation. They're not giving to um, something. So this is really, um, it's like you're being guided. If this is you and you're dealing with someone that doesn't want to heal something, doesn't want to make it right, you're being guided, um, it feels like, to listen. If you look at the hair font, look, listen. Do you see how he's got the, trying to tell you something. Um, listen to a higher power trying to tell you something, trying to make something clear. It's time to end what it, this cycle. It's time to uh, choose to let it be, let it go. Um, you can't, you know, you can't always fix everything. It's time to let this be, let it um, rest. You got the fool. It's time for you to start your new beginning, your new journey. Um, with optimism, you know, look at, look at him as he just walks forward, nothing stopping him, just going forward, happy, you know, go lucky. It's that type of feeling. Um, yeah, um, you got the hangman here because you need to take a full 
look at the picture, not just looking back, because this feels like this is looking back. This feels like this could have been the past, or, you know, the past could be yesterday. So, something didn't go right, and instead of, you're being asked to look at things clearly, look all around you, because you have lots of options, lots of options, lots of options. You are going to have to follow your intuition, though. Um, though you have lots of options, there could be some trickery. Some, some of these options could be players waiting to trick you. Waiting to just um, grab you up. And it's not for your higher good. So the high priestess, you need to really pay attention and... You know, you may be tired. This is a feeling of tiredness. Just, you know, really tired. Just wanting to be happy. Wanting to um, feel the sunshine and just be happy. So, yeah, this is a feeling like um, something, you know, may have outrun its course here. Um, something is over. Something is done, you know, and it's like it's time for you to start your new beginning so it's basically over whatever this was um you know it's that's what it feels like so it's time to be, begin anew look abroad that's what it feels like time for you to look abroad look out look further If this is romance related, may we have one for those that this is romance related. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So that has to do with that, it feels like. And then we got playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you've got two here. I feel like one has to do with this back here that's ending and then the playfulness feels like a new it feels like um you know to um get something started you know figure out something but you know you're gonna have to follow your intuition i mean that's pretty clear there but that's what i've got for you and um yeah thank you so much for being here with me much light and love to you till next time remember to give a thumbs up and please do subscribe bye